they are you know they have those plates and i walked in between the plates it's it's an amazing experience they really take it to a next level you know they are they try to be outdoors most of the time they try to mix with family and friends their electricity almost entirely is generated from uh, renewable energy right because they have a lot of glaciers it gives a lot of waterfalls welcome to the show think aloud with professor ali Okay, so sir, uh, could you please share us one of the destinations that you have been, and uh, you really got a positive vibe and a different culture you have experienced. So please share us among that stories. Yeah, let me talk about my uh, visit to Iceland. I visited it with my friends uh, just a few months ago, and I believe Iceland is one of the most beautiful places on planet Earth. and i really uh, what stood out was i really liked uh, you know their their uh, way of life right and i talked with lot of locals i found out that uh, almost all of them are very happy and uh, I, i i actually did a formal study that how come you know people of iceland are so happy right they have no complaints uh, and i found out in their way of life they have happiness embedded you know they have uh, social very good social life they you know they try to stay within the country they are they look at sustainability as a way of life right they don't want they don't waste or they don't uh, you know throw waste here and there they keep waste they try to recycle wherever possible actually iceland is one of the countries with the highest number of evs right their electricity almost entirely is generated from uh, renewable energy right yeah. because they have lot of glaciers it gives lot of waterfalls mm-hmm. they have those uh, hydro power generating stations and they generate through you know sustainable energy uh, means like renewable energy and all so um, apart from that i i think their culture is uh, that at the end of the day everything will be all right this you know uh, they have some term for it in their local language but the summary is whatever be the problem don't obsess over it don't panic over it ultimately things will be all right god will ultimately give you a, a good life a good way so this uh, you know uh, takes out the tension and another thing is the outdoor living you know they really although it's very cold uh, they really embrace the outdoor culture you know outdoor sports walking hiking they have you know uh, long uh, baths like you know uh, uh, they have lot of geysers they have heated pools they have heated uh, you know uh swimming areas and they really take it to a next level you know they are they try to be outdoors most of the time they try to mix with family and friends the entire culture is very sustainable very well suited it's not aggressive it's quite friendly to foreigners um i i love the culture and uh, you know um uh, it's really a part of the planet that everybody should go it's so different they have black sand you know where you know i i was amazed to see black sand and uh, then i read that it's volcanic ash there a lot of active volcanoes okay. so volcanic ash it gets grounded by you know in thousands and millions of years into uh, black sand so they have black sandy beaches they have uh, you know formations that are really unimaginable and it's all because of the volcanic lava forming the igneous rocks that gives very unique formations they are on the you know they have two plates the uh, uh, the north american plate a tectonic plate and the you know asian plate or eurasian plate they are you know they have those plates and i walked in between the plates it's it's an amazing experience uh, it's uh, you know uh, you can see geography you can see it forming it is uh, truly amazing and uh, and the best of all it is so sustainable their entire energy consumption electricity waste management entire thing is quite sustainable they always think about their future they are uh, i would say it's one of the most uh, you know sustainable countries i have seen uh, it's it's one of the best experiences i had i recommend all of you to go to iceland once in your life and just to learn their culture see how you know uh, they are not aggressive they are not running after money they are very content they are you know um, devoting them their lives to 
uh, working on their passion, on social life, on friendships, on family, on sustainability, on outdoor living, you know, outdoor sports, outdoor hiking, outdoor swimming, all these activities. Thank you so much, sir, for your sharing the experience. So, thank you so much. Sure, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, especially, you know, if you like this content, uh, uh, like us and subscribe us to get similar content and if you find it useful, you can share with your friends and colleagues so that they can also benefit from this type of content.